spent 400 bucks to get it and I couldn't even play it all of last year. Bobby Atlas is one of many Bonaventure students with PlayStation 5s who have struggled to get their precious consoles working on campus. It was still really, it was having difficulty connecting uh, and staying connected. Mm -hmm. Last spring, a software update caused a bug within the consoles that made it hard for students to enjoy one of their favorite pastimes. We discovered that it was a bug in the Intel chipset in Sony's PlayStation 5. There was a, like a code upgrade for it in spring that hit and people that had that upgrade, that's what caused the problem. These chips, the same ones that have caused the popular gaming console to be on back order since its release. Atlas citing this as one of the reasons the bug was so frustrating. Came out in what, March of like 2020 or something like that. I ended up getting it for Christmas like the next year, so a year basically. And I talked to Dr. Hoffman about what some of the workarounds and fixes for the connection issues might be so you can keep playing on your valuable consoles. And we were able to turn off a feature on our wireless network that um, this bug was conflicting with. If any students are continuing to have a problem, uh, they should call us, uh, and Jeremy will work with them. But it should be, it, we should be good to go. And, we and Atlas presenting his own solution to the issue. I bought an Ethernet cord and just connected it, hardwired it right to the internet. But Hoffman, cautious about how long the fix will last. Because what we have right now is a workaround. Really, Sony needs to fix the problem. With SBU TV, I'm Rich Williams. Nothing will work on the system at all. Um.